Wow! Is that mommy's tumbler? She loves drinking out of mommy's cups. Please, mama. Please, mama. Smarties. Oh, is it? Please are here. I can see across my face. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. If you don't already know by the title of the video, it's going to be Adriana's two-year update. Um, you may or may have not seen her 18 month update. If you have, you have already met Adriana. But if not, this is my daughter. Say hi. Can you say hi? Are you going to be shy? Can you say hi to the camera? Just wait. Can you wait? Huh? What are you eating? Mm. Huh? You're wondering, she's eating these. Can I show them? These organic dinosaur puffs, they're in cheese and leek flavour. She's going to sit here and snack on these while we get through this video, otherwise we won't get through the video. Um, I'll see if she'll talk to you guys a little bit later on. But anyways, like I said, I'm doing her two year update today. This is quite overdue because she turned two in November. So it has been a couple of months, but it was just a crazy period during November, December. And now we're in January, so this is the only chance I've had time to sit down to film this video. So hopefully it won't be too long. I've got a couple of notes here in front of me in my notepad that I just want to cover with you guys. It's basically just going to go through her measurements, um, her development at two years old, and what she currently likes it to. I love these videos because I love looking back on them to see how much she has grown and what she was like at this age. So if you also like these type of videos, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below as well. Firstly, her measurements. So at two years old, she had her checkup and she was 85 centimeters tall and her weight was 11.3 centimeters. 11.3 kilograms so she's on the 50 percentile for her height and for her weight she was around the 15 to 20 percentile yes so she's on the smaller side but she has been that since um i was pregnant with her so that doesn't surprise me whatsoever um as you can see her hair is still growing um at a steady rate, she had absolutely no hair um, from like three months onwards when she lost it all um, after birth and it is growing back and it's actually growing back a little bit lighter than I expected um, because I'm naturally dark um, and so is everyone pretty much in my family. If you've seen my son's updates, you'll see that he has really dark brown hair like myself. Um, but she's got a little bit of a lighter brown and that's fine. Um, it is starting to get curly. Can you show everyone your hair? It is starting to go a bit curly on the ends there. Um, which is super cute. And she's got big brown eyes like her mama bear. Yeah, look at you, kitty pie. <laughs> she also has all of her teeth. Show us your teeth. <laughs> She's got all of her teeth, um, except for I think her two molars. I don't believe they've come through yeah. just yet. So sleep wise, she still is napping. Yeah, yummy. She's still napping yeah. through the day. Yeah, close your mouth. They don't want to see that. <laughs> She's still napping through the day. So she typically typically goes down around 1 o'clock. It can vary depending on the day. Um, but typically it's from 1 o'clock and she normally sleeps about 2 to 3 hours. Um, which is probably a little bit too long in her age. But if she goes past 4, I will um, tend to wake her up because otherwise bedtime is a bit of a nightmare and bedtime I'm aiming for 8 o'clock p.m. so she, I can't get her down any earlier than 8 and sometimes she'll go even later than that depending on her nap and her mood and all that sort of stuff so um, yeah so still naps once a day for about two to three hours and then goes to bed at 8 o'clock and typically she'll wake up at 8 as well so 8 a.m. 
um, unless of course I have to wake her for appointments or if we if I need to go to work um, because I do work part-time as well um, her daily schedules it varies so much she pretty much just goes with the flow of being the second child in the house um so it just depends on our day-to-day -day activities where are you going they can't see you anymore uh-oh where'd you go <laughs> peekaboo where'd you go i can't see you can i can i see your pretty face where are you She might pop in soon. Get big a boo. They can't see you, Dallas. Nope, they can't see you. You gotta come closer. Over here. <laughs> You're so silly. Um, so let's get into food because that's one thing I've been really struggling with. Her. You're gone again. Big a boo. <laughs> Um, really struggling with her probably since she turned one years old or thereabouts. Um, hi, she's so picky, she's such a picky eater. She would prefer to snack all day long, and she will be happily doing that all day if I let her. Um, but obviously, snacks aren't the greatest nutritious types of food, so I want her to have set meals if possible. Um, but with set meals, I could probably only get two meals a day out of her. So typically that will be breakfast is a good one. Um, she usually eats, you know, a decent amount of breakfast. And then lunch and dinner is just, hello. Oh, that's not nice. Yucky. Um, she'll typically eat lunch or dinner depending on her mood and what's been served to her. She'll choose which one she wants to eat. Um, which is super annoying because a lot of food gets wasted. Oops. Mama. Finish with that. Yes. Um, but that's just Adriana and I'm hoping she's going to grow out of it. Um, she only eats very small meals as well. You're going to knock the camera, darling. Come over here. Um, she typically eats very small meals as well. So activities, the thing that she loves doing is um, a lot of craft and art. Mama. Yeah, oh, okay, you're gone again. Uh, she loves drawing and Play-Doh. She loves dancing and singing and being silly, as you can see. She's a very silly Billy. And she loves to go swimming, don't you? Do you like going swimming? Yes. Yeah. So we actually came back from a Queensland holiday not long ago, and she learned how to Mama swim there. Beach. Okay, finish. She learned how to swim there with floaties on, but she... Is so independent she copies everything her brother does so he also learned how to swim there too um, and she just copied him and started kicking and swimming about and yeah she can swim now at two years old with four years old which is super impressive for me because my son's only learned how to swim when he's four years old so I think that's pretty good considering um, and the toys that she loves playing with are her dolls she's obsessed with dolls she has a big doll house that she got for her birthday and that is one thing that she will always go and play with so she does love big dolls and brushing their hair and undressing them and putting um, other clothes on them and things like that um, and she loves playing with handbags and like lots of girly stuff really I bought her this fake makeup set for Christmas if you haven't seen what I got my daughter for Christmas video I'll link that in the cards up here and down below in the description but she got a makeup set and she's obsessed with it she plays with it daily constantly all day long um, and loves it so anything very girly she loves and the other thing I have to say that she absolutely loves is her play kitchen that she shares with her brother. So it's just like a wooden play kitchen and they play in this for hours at a time um, and have so much fun with that. So they're probably her, definitely her favourites and she's still very much obsessed with books. Um, if you've seen my 18 month video then I would have mentioned that as well. But she still very much loves reading books to herself or... Uh, or me reading it to her um, but yeah they're her favorite things at the moment her personality as you can see she's very cheeky and silly um, but she's also very very independent and confident development why she's doing Mama. she's doing great her speech is coming along nicely 
Um, I did mention also in an 18 month update that we noticed that she had an upper this, lip tie. This, this. And we decided not to get this clipped um, after much consideration, they, discussions well, with her that. dentist and things like that. Um, and also yes, our health yes. nurses and doctors. Um, Mama, they agreed Mama, it would be best just to be left alone um, but one thing I was concerned about is whether her speech will be affected yeah. from this and it hasn't been she's on par with what she should be doing um, developmental wise so she's um, talking every day um, new words are coming out of her and she's putting words together so she so she's not doing sentences as such but she will put like two three four words together which is super um, and everything else is great, like her um, fine motor skills are wonderful, she can hold a pencil really well, um, she runs around like crazy, like I said before, and she's just a happy-go-lucky little girl, really, um, really lively and cheeky and full-on, like she's quite a lot of work, um, she's quite high maintenance compared to my son. What is that? Stamp. <laughs> Um, she, I would say she's a bit more high maintenance, a bit more needy. Um, I guess maybe that comes with the territory with having a girl um, because of all those hormones. Um, but she can show her little attitude sometimes when she doesn't get her way. And I just have to say, I just dislike the twos. I just don't, I don't, I just don't enjoy parenting um, a child when they're in their twos. I mean, obviously I love her to death and I wouldn't change her for the world, but just um, parenting when my kids are in their twos, like in their two year um, life, is just really difficult um, with all their emotions that they're going through and the tantrums that they experience and all that. It's just not the most enjoyable experience for me. So I love when they turn three and onwards. I think that it's a lot easier at that stage. And obviously a zero to one is brilliant as well because I love babies. Um, but we're getting through the twos okay um every day is different with her i don't know what i'm gonna get but yeah we're doing fine otherwise um so other things that she can do she's pretty much learned all her colors and she's very good with her shapes as well numbers and letters she's still learning the concepts behind them um and obviously doesn't know all of them but she can recognize her letter a um so for adriana um so she's getting there slowly but yeah she's really great with colors and shapes she's really good with puzzles and even the memory game as well she loves playing the memory card game um she can name all her body parts on her face and all over her body um and she can name everyone in our family and things around her things in the book so she's very vocal she's saying loads and loads of words so that's brilliant So she's down here on the floor colouring in. So if you hear little noises down there, then that's Adriana. I'll try and grab her um, before I end this video as well. Um, potty training. So if you saw my 18 month update with her, she was already showing interest of being potty trained at that age. And I had every intention when I was on um, holidays to potty train her. Like not while we away, but when we came back. But I just haven't had the ch chance to potty train her properly yet because we've been so we've had so much going on with our Orthodox Christmas um, in January and also getting my son ready for preschool as well, um, which is where he is at the moment and he's doing great. Everyone, he's doing super. This is day three of him in preschool and we had no tears today. She's down jumping on the couch, so the camera shakes. That's her jumping. Um. But basically with toilet training, she's pretty much toilet training herself at the moment. She'll tell us when she wants to go and we'll go and take her and she will do a wee. She hasn't done a number two in the potty or the toilet just yet. But again, we're not even training her. She, this is all on her. Um, she, even used, she even used the toilet when we were on holidays. Takes her own nappy off and asks to be sat on the toilet, which is fabulous. And she wakes up a lot of times with a dry, with a dry nappy as well. So clearly, a very strong signs that she's ready to be toilet trained. I just have to find the time to do it. So hopefully, in the next month, she will be, um, you know, getting toilet trained and will be toilet trained very soon. I'm in no hurry. I mean, her 
brother was totally trained at 23 months, so quite early, and was already potty trained, obviously, by this age. Um, but that's because I was pregnant with her, and I didn't want two babies in that piece, and he was definitely ready. And I just had the time to do it as well, because I was on maternity leave. Um, and just, yeah, different life um, situations at that time. So She's still using the dummy. Um, she uses this typically for naps and going down at night. And obviously when she needs some comfort. She's not very good in the car um, and does need it for comfort um, a lot of the time. So it's, it's a really bad habit that she is still um, using a dummy um, and relying on it so much. So I'm hoping by two and a half which is when I weaned, or not weaned, I just took it off Christopher at two and a half. I'm hoping to do the same with her at two and a half because I think anything after that, for me personally, I know everyone's different, but for me personally, I think anything after that is too long. Um, I don't want it to affect any dental issues um, with her in the future. So two and a half is what I feel comfortable with personally. So that is my aim with weaning her or taking the dummy off at that point. With Christopher, we basically wrote down on a calendar the date that he would lose his dummy or give it to the dummy fairy as we explained it to him because babies need dummies and he's no longer a baby when he hits the two and a half mark on the calendar. So that's how we explained it to him so he could visualize it and see the days being crossed off the calendar and to see how close we are getting to that two and a half year mark. Um, and then when we got to that day, we pretty much put it in a bag we left it um, next to his room for the dummy fairy to go and pick it up and we left for the day when we came back the dummy was gone and that was the end of the dummy he was he did really good like he did ask for i think for the first snap but after that he was fine and he forgot about it so i don't know how it'll be with this little one she's a bit more lively a bit more vocal um and yeah we'll just have to wait and see how we go with that um, I'll try the same way with her, but whether it works is another story. Okay, I've just brought Adriana back because we're going to end this video now. And we're going to say bye, aren't we? Can you say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? Bye, can you blow a kiss? Where's Adriana's eyes? Where's your nose? Where's your mouth? Where's, where's your hair? Where's your ears? Can you say mama? Mama. Can you say Tata? Tata. That's Daddy. Can you say Kiki? Daddy. Which is her brother. Can you say Papa? Papa. Grandma. Can you say Dedo? Daddy. Daddy. Which is Grandpa. Can you say Up? Up. Down? Down. Drink? Drink. <laughs> Can you say Dress? Dress. Can you say um, hello? Hey. <laughs> Can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Can you say what else? Can you say um, bye bye? Oh, <laughs> she can say everything you ask her to say. Like she'll just repeat words, even if she hasn't said them before. She'll repeat everything, which is super good. Anyways, let's say bye bye one more time. Say bye. bye. Can you say? See you next time. Dang. Say YouTube. <laughs> Can you say thumbs up the video? <laughs> say subscribe. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, thumbs up and subscribe down below before you exit out. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.